Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Bailey from Vantage. Today I just wanted to share with you our new rendition we did of Fremont Ross's Little Giant Roscoe. Um, this isn't anything we were commissioned by the school to do. It's just something we kind of took upon ourselves um, and just kind of did. Recently we put out a, or probably a few months ago, we put out a rendition of the Little Giant that was more human-like that nobody's really ever seen done and it created a lot of initial shock value so we went back to the drawing board and just cleaned them up a bit uh, so let's dive in and really see what we did I'll break it down for you so really jumping in here you can see right off the bat we just cleaned up the lines like look in the lats the kneecaps uh, the ears stuff like that the lines are just a lot more smoother, cleaner, and it just, again, gives them a cleaner look. Um, moving down to the club, yes, we turned it white and thickened up these lines in the wood grain. Uh, you might have noticed in some items that you have that might be either a small little giant screen printed or embroidery that those wood grain lines aren't existing. They're not there to where thickening up these lines are going to give you more detail to print those finer or gonna give you more ability to print those finer details. Um, lastly, yeah, we, we turned the club white. The reason behind this was to give the separation from the shoe. And you can see on the left side that there's no definitive line, what's the shoe and what's the club. Over on the right side, you can see the club, you can see the shoe. And eventually, we'll probably make a club that you can just detach. Um, and then just moving down to the shoes, you can see that we changed his shoes as well. He's not wearing what we always call dress shoes. <laughs> um, it's just a much more modern looking shoe. It kind of matches his style and I think it looks just a lot cleaner. Again, going back to those thin lines in his shoelaces, um, over in our rendition, it's a lot thicker, bolder lines to where you're gonna get more of that detail when you print it. Um, and then moving up to the biggest change is his head. He's got a chin now. What? Roscoe's got a chin. Um, <laughs> I know it was a hashtag when we put out our last rendition, Give Roscoe a Neck 2020. Well, with giving him a chin, you can see his neck and it really brings out that feature. Um, I just, I love this version so much more just because you can, you can take the head off of him and have an icon that you can use on social media. You can use it as an emblem on hats um, without redrawing a chin, anything. Uh, we also added a tongue in here. Um, we've seen a couple renditions with a tongue in there. Um, we more or less just add, added it back because it gives him more dimension. It makes him feel more human-like and more inviting, like you can actually connect to Roscoe. Um, other than that, that's really the la the only things we changed. Uh, it's the same Roscoe that we all know and love. Um, just, he's clean. So, yeah, this is Bailey from Bandage. Those are the changes to our little giant. Uh, I hope you guys like it. If you don't, let us know. If you would change anything, let us know. If, you, if we should keep it the same and, you know, just run with this, let us know. We want the feedback from the community. Um, it's really what you guys think. You guys got us to change change it from the last time. So, yeah. Uh, again, this is Bailey from Vantage, and we'll see you next time.